Good morning, beautiful souls. Sarava and I share to you. It is so nice to be looking at your beautiful smiling faces. I sincerely hope that you are having an amazing day whenever it is that you are watching this and every day before and after. So welcome. Welcome to today's vlog. Today is vlog number 19. Finally, I have the number in my head. I went through my diaries and I made sure that I was up to date with what was going on with each number, etc. So Today has been a bit of a stressful start to the day, I'm not going to lie, because it is smoky as outside, like smoky, smoky, smoky. I woke up at some somewhere in the vicinity of like 12 o'clock last night, and I have an outdoor bathroom, so I needed to wake up to go do a little tinkle, and there it was, that smoky, smoky, smoky smell. So I was like, oh, today's going to be fabulous as a result of that. And as it was, I woke up a little bit more on the grumpy side than usual, and I eradicated uh, that grumpiness as soon as possible because it was affecting my family. So I made sure that I left uh, my tiny home and came up here early so I could brood in peace. And no sooner had I made that decision and come up here, settled down, that I noticed that my iMac had a flashing file with a question mark on it. And I'm not a Mac user. If that was a Windows computer, I would have been sorted in how to fix it. And, you know, I'm pretty damn good with my Windows computers, but this is my very first iMac. I've only been using Mac computers for the last six months. And basically I had no idea what to do. So I spent the better part of my morning trying to fix this problem, which I have done, thankfully, but that was the start of my day today. So I'm not too impressed with how it began, but let's see if we can sort of like up the tempo, change the mood, do all the fun stuff, okay? Radio, so let's draw today's card, shall we? Oh, look, there's chickens. There's chickens in our enclosure. Gosh, they roam far and wide. <laughs> that is the nature of free-ranging chickens. So, yes, technical issues. Yep, the fair hole. Nine of Pentacles. Nine of Pentacles. I do love the Nine of Pentacles. I'm happy to see it. Empress yesterday, Nine of Pentacles today. I'm feeling good. I think since I've done my daily practice today already to try and ground and center myself and defrustrate from <laughs> external forces, aka technical issues, I'm going to create a little something extra this afternoon for the uh, Nine of Pentacles. But it is a beautiful card and it has a lovely meaning and I want to bring that meaning deeper into today. <laughs> reading because I'm excited. Since yesterday when I just cleared everything off my screen time addiction, I decided to delve deeper into some books. And these are ones that I have been sort of like, you know, playing around with, carrying everywhere, doing everything that a person who should be reading does except for actually read them. So Soul Retrieval is something that I'm finishing up. I have read this book. I didn't complete it all the way to the end. I skim read probably the last that many pages, <laughs> mostly because I kind of got a bit bored with it uh, for reasons that I've already shared with the book club. So this was the uh, February book club book, Soul Retrieval, and we were looking into it. And now we're just discussing it. We're dissecting it. We're critiquing it. We're discussing it. So I get to do five minutes live every day on the book club Facebook page to discuss this book here. So I'm happy to be wrapping that one up. 
then I have decided to start the introduction of a fiction book and this is a decision that came about last week I've kind of been playing around with this idea in the book club as well for some weeks now this was a book that I acquired during the evacuation process and it's called A Discovery of Witches and it is written by Deborah Harkness and I did see one of my uh, book club members who is also on YouTube talking about this book and I'm like oh interest peaked and then and then because I heard good things about it from Drawing Canaz who was mentioning this one here be some stank and saw this is the newest book by Chris Oropello and his partner Tara Love Maguire now if you don't know who these individuals are they actually run a podcast called Down at the Crossroads and it's great. It's one of those podcasts that has, you know, interesting guests and lots and lots of witchy pagan, neo-pagan music. So if you're after one of those really interesting types of podcasts that feel a bit like a radio show with the music and the talking and, you know, what have you, then you'll probably like Down at the Crossroads. So just take that as a recommendation. But I haven't yet looked into this book at all. I'm just I'm just excited to have it and I'm going to try and introduce it to the book club. I tried yesterday <laughs> just to mention it, um, but I'm putting it on the reading list. So if anyone wants to vote for it, because we vote for the books that we want to read as a group. And then I bought myself a nice little uh, Moleskine journal to take notes down of the books that I am reading, especially the reference material. The whole reason why I wanted to introduce this one here, which I'm calling a trashy read, is because you can get a little bit too bogged down in the reference material and the non-fiction aspect of reading. And I find that when you start to engage in fiction, you can be really inspired and fiction can be just as functional to ignite the inspiration and the curiosity and introduce new theories and focus as a non-fiction book can. So that's just my own personal opinion. And that's because I really like to immerse myself in science fantasy and a bit of young adult fiction. And that's sort of like where my bag is when I'm trying to, you know, just like disconnect and unplug. And then I'm sad to have to return this book. This is the Celestial Art, Essays on Astrology and Magic. And Gordon, this is Gordon's copy. See, that's Gordon's copy. And I borrowed this book for the So Below event in Melbourne. And I just, it's such a wonderful collection of essays. Uh, and I've just been sort of finishing that up because I have to return it to Gordon. So they are the books that I'm reading and I do have a bit of a book haul uh, because I found a place. I found a local place that just like blew my mind. So that's it. I would love to hear from you as to what you are currently reading. Nonfiction and fiction. Go. brief intermission holy doolies to take lunch check out the landscape behind me look at all of that smoke haze it's not even doing it justice it's so smoky today gosh it was that massive heat wave that reignited some of the smaller burning fires and it's been sort of smoky now every day but today's been the worst of them all Ugh, i'm hungry so i need to go and get something to eat Let's do that. back-to-back -back technical issues today as it would seem so I just went to use my phone and it wouldn't turn on it just wouldn't turn on this is a new iPhone 10 mind you and it wouldn't turn on so I pressed and held the button did the things then took a deep breath plugged it in not that it was flat plugged it in and walked away had some lunch 
came back to it, it was working fine. And I'm like, computer and phone, how intriguing. Right, so it's almost time for me to sign off because it is that time of the afternoon. I've got a bit more editing that I need to do and I have to prepare for a parent-teacher conference thingy today. So before I sign off, I wanted to add a little bit more to the subject of books, specifically my own personal reading practice. Now, recently, I wrote a little blog post for Patreon talking about how it was that I wanted to enhance my reading practice and how I was of late forever striving towards having a more connected and a more profound reading practice. So my decision to disconnect from all the screen subscriptions that I had was motivated in part by the fact that I want to really enhance my reading practice and return that balance that is integral to my practice where I am reading and enjoying reading every single day. So that is exactly what I'm aiming towards and that is why I am sharing my reading list with you as a means of ho hopefully holding myself accountable so there you have it, beautiful souls. Another vlog done and dusted. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. It's always such a pleasure to be sharing this sacred space with you. I sincerely hope that wherever you are and whatever you are doing, you are currently and always surrounded by magic. And I so look forward to gazing into your beautiful smiling faces tomorrow for my next vlog. Much love and I'll speak to you soon. Please don't forget to like, share and subscribe if you haven't already. I would absolutely love you to do so and appreciate you from the bottom of my heart for those who do do so. See you later.